Okay, so for question three, now at the end of the day, we need to work out the impulse, which is mass times the change in velocity. So we're going to need to know the two velocities of the ball, uh, the, the velocity as it hits the wall and the velocity as it comes away from the wall. Well, we know the velocity when it hits the wall is four, is four so we're going to have to work out the velocity as it comes away from the wall and to do that we will use suvat but, in all mo but in, uh, to be able to use suvat first thing we're going to have to do is work out the acceleration or rather the deceleration of the ball as it leaves the wall so let's just set up a little diagram to represent the um, the forces involved so I'm imagining the balls come along um, left to right it's hit the wall and it's just going to be decelerating to the right and these are the forces so I've got the weights being m times g the normal reaction going upwards being equal and opposites and we're going to be having friction going against the opposite direction of motion so that's going to be going to the left because I'm saying our um, particles going to be moving to the right it's going to be decelerating to the right so first things first um, I'm going to need to resolve upwards to work out what the normal reaction is because I'm going to need the normal reaction when I look into my friction a bit later so my normal reaction is going to be equal and opposite to the weight because my particle is neither going upwards nor downwards so these two have to offset each other so my normal reaction is going to be my mass of 0.4 times gravity of 9.8 being 3.92 so my normal reaction is 3.92 so now when I resolve left to right, so I'm going in the direction of motion and using F equals MA, my, the only force in town is the gravity, which is going right to left. So that's going to be negative given that I'm resolving left to right. So my, um, my, that force is going to be minus mu times R, and that's going to equal my mass times my acceleration. Now I know that mu is an eighth, my coefficient of friction is an eighth. I know my normal reaction is 3.92. So my acceleration or rather deceleration is going to be minus 1.225. So I'm accelerating at minus 1.225 because I'm decelerating. So now I can go and use my suvat to work out my speed as I leave the wall. So I don't know what my uh, the speed is as I leave the wall. That's my unknown. I know my final velocity will be will be zero because I'm coming to rest. I know I'm travelling a distance of five meters. So my s equals five. Sorry, that's not very clear here. My s's and fives are very similar. That's saying s equals five, and I know my deceleration is minus one point two two five, which is I've just worked out. So using the CVAT equation V squared equals U squared plus 2AS, I can solve this to work out that U is 3.5. Now, my, to work out the impulse, impulse is mass times the change in velocity. Now we know that our initial velocity is 4, our final velocity is 3.5, we just worked that out. And we know the mass is 0 0.4, but be careful, be very careful with the signs okay the velocity as we hit the wall and the velocity as we leave the wall are in opposite directions so that's why we're minusing and minus okay so using my diagram here i'm i'm res i'm for my impulse i'm going left to right so i am saying my final velocity is 3.5 but then my initial velocity would have been going right to left so that's going to be my minus 4. So it's 3.5 minus minus 4. So my impulse is 3 newtons.